Hello everyone, what I'm going to do today is I'm going to go for a drive. It's going to be about 20 miles, uh, 10 miles each way, from Saltash to Liscard. And that is a drive that is a mixture of single carriageway roads with some hills and a bit of dual carriageway, uh, 60, 70 mile an hour without any hills. Um, and I'm going to run the, the Nissan Leaf at 20 kilowatts. I'm going to be simulating the sort of power that a BMW i3 um, Rex would develop and try to get a feel for how, um, how the performance might be affected when running a BMW i3 with the Rex uh, running with the battery flat. So in other words, all the power is coming from the 25 kilowatt Rex uh, petrol generator. I'm going to be using the uh, power meter on the Nissan Leaf which will show me that uh, the power that I'm actually using for the motor and I'm going to try to keep it below or around 20 kilowatts um, obviously that's going to be depending on traffic and I'm going to drive as safely as I can within that uh, limit and if I need to go over 20 kilowatts then I will but I'm going to try to keep it below 20 kilowatts just to get a feel for how uh, how the performance might be affected. So let's get going. Okay, pulling away, it's downhill slightly here from my house. Um, there's a 20 mile an hour limit around here, so I won't be going uh, above that. Um, but it, we can get a feel for how the acceleration is. Um, so, as I pull away here, that is a 20 kilo. That is 20 kilowatts. So it's not exactly blinding acceleration. <laughs> okay, it's slightly uphill. Um, but even so, I mean, 20 kilowatts does not give you very much acceleration from a standing start whatsoever. Right, when I pull away from here, it's slightly uphill. 20 kilowatts, there we go. That's tall, that's 30 kilowatts. Let's get, bring it back to 20. There we go. <laughs> I'm not even getting to 30 mile an hour. I'm holding up the cars behind. Going up this hill, I'm having to use 30 kilowatts just to get it to accelerate past 30 mile an hour. Okay, back to 20 kilowatts. I'm doing 35. Mm. <laughs> this isn't looking good, guys. Okay, it's a 50 mile an hour road, so I'm going to have to speed up a little bit to be safe. But that's okay, I can do that within the 20 kilowatts here because it's downhill. So this is 20 kilowatts and I'm doing 47, slightly downhill. So at the bottom of this hill, um, I'm going to have to maintain around 50, 50 mile an hour to be safe. With a lot of cars tanking up behind me. Within the 20 kilowatts, I'm 20 kilowatts now. I'm still slowing down below 50. Still 20 kilowatts. Okay, 50 mile an hour as we go over the top of the hill and into another downhill section. Obviously, the downhill sections are fine. In fact, I'm regenerating um, a little bit, so so that's fine. Now, at the bottom of this hill, I know there to be quite a steep climb. Um, it goes into two lanes to allow people to overtake. So I might be able to stick to the 20 kilowatts, uh, maybe go to 25. I know that the Rex um, is a 25 kilowatt um, engine, but whether it will produce the full 25 kilowatts, um, I don't know. So let's see, about 25 kilowatts. Okay, so we're going into this uphill section now, and the power 
cars coming in to maintain speed. I'm at 20 kilowatts already. The speed is maintaining, okay. Maintaining 50 mile an hour. Going into a slightly steeper section, still maintaining 20, 20 25 kilowatts. The speed is dropping. And in fact, the speed is, at, I'm at 25 kilowatts. The speed is now down to 38. 37, 35, there's nothing behind so I'm letting the speed drop, still at 20 kilowatts, okay there's a car coming up behind me, speed down to 33 here guys, this is not good, if I only had 20 kilowatts available at my disposal I would not want to be driving this car, I can tell you that now. So there you have it, 20 miles, so in fact uh, about 22 miles, mixed roads, uh, mixed traffic conditions, um, 25 kilowatts is not enough really for regular driving, it will be fine to get you out of trouble, um, particularly if you're not on uh, fast dual carriageways or motorways, but to be quite honest, um, would I want uh, a BMW? i3 with a rex um yeah i think i probably might want it but it certainly would be used as a as a battery vehicle like the nissan leaf um and not as a uh, extended range electric vehicle like the volt or the ampere so until next time it's paul signing off